Yeah, so my name is Nicole. I'm a supporter and of Mr. Mao's War, and I'm also a member of the new federal state of China, which is founded by Mr. Mao's War, aimed at taking down the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, what do you think happened in this story? Do you think uh, Mr. Uh, Miles Guo is uh, yeah. unfairly prosecuted? Absolutely. There's injustice, there's a persecution, and there's a racial discrimination against uh, Mr. Miles Guo. On March 15th, uh, FBI sent over 100 agents who raided Mr. Miles uh, Guo's residence over on the 18th floor. And six hours after Mr. Mao's school was taken to the court for interrogation, um, someone reported there was a myster uh, mysterious uh, fire that broke out and damaged the property. And during that time, FBI presumably were the only people remaining in, inside that residence. So we demand uh, the Congress to start an investigation into the origin of the fire and also investigate into Mr. Mao's school's cases because these lawsuits have been funded by the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. And also on March 15th, uh, at the court hearing, the federal prosecutor admitted uh, in the court before the federal judge that they have made lots of contact with the Chinese Communist Party government during the prosecution of Mr. Mao's war. Imagine, this is during the World War II, America's federal pro prosecutor collaborated with Nazi German to prosecute American Jews in the American court. So that's how serious the, this uh, injustice is. So we demand uh, all the American people, call your congressmen, write to your senators, and demand Jim Jordan's uh, select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government agencies to investigate into the CCP's weaponization uh, in the DOJ, FBI, and uh, SEC, um, and look into Mr. Moscow's case, and especially the origin of that mysterious fire. So there's some speculation out there that the, that the place was booby-trapped and the fire started to destroy evidence. Do you, do you reject uh, that notion? That's a million-dollar question, and that's why we need the, um, the Congress. Um, the Jim Jordan's uh, select a subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government agencies to send s subpoenas and launch an investigation into the origin of the fire because during the time it's only the FBI who were inside that uh, residence and there was a fire and we don't know what has been burned and what uh, we don't know who set the uh, apartment building into fire so those are the questions uh, we demand an immediate in investigation and as we speak now Mr. Moscow is still being held in uh, federal custody and we also demand an immediate release of Mr. Moscow from the uh, injustice and the federal cu uh, custody. But you, re you reject the notion that the fire was caused by by uh, Mr. Uh, Miles Gao. Absolutely. Uh, th this is a false narrative spread by the Chinese Communist Party. Remember, Mr. Miles Guo is CCP's enemy. And so all the CCP propaganda, if they say it's Miles Guo who set the apartment uh, building on fire, you know it's absolutely false narrative. And I hate to see the American mainstream media start echoing uh, you know, repeating the same false na uh, narrative. This is a great country um, on the earth. We're not a Republican, uh, we're, we're not a banana republic. So I, and I encourage people to stay informed and go to the nfscofficial.com to learn more about this movement and to learn more about Mr. Mao's school because if you follow the mainstream uh, media, which has been pretty much, you know, influenced and bought out by, by the CCP, you will not be able to find the truth. So follow Mr. Mao's school's Getter account and follow an FSC Speaks on well, Getter account. What do you want the American public to know? Something that the mainstream media has omitted, like is there anything, is there any message uh, that oh. has not been put out there that you yeah. have for the American public? Absolutely. You know, um, it's actually been reported over the years. The CCP has spent, uh, uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars buying the influence and uh, spreading, spreading their own propaganda in America's mainstream media. We know for a fact that uh, the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Washington Post, and a number of other America's mainstream media have been taking tens of millions of dollars from the CCP to run their propaganda ads. And 
we also know that Bloomberg, very strangely, they actually published a uh, over 1,000 uh, uh, word article uh, before the DOJ and Southern District of New York published their own uh, press release about the Mr. Moskowitz's arrest. So who leaked that information? How come the CCP's propaganda knew ahead of time before even the DOJ announced the arrest? I mean, so those are the questions that the American people should be asking. And don't forget, um, if the CCP can weaponize America's uh, DOJ and FBI and SEC and the IRS to go after a uh, a Chinese dissident, they can come after you. They can come after you. And we, al we already saw the news that next week um, they're going after uh, the former U.S. President Trump. We know uh, General Flynn and the J6 people have also been persecuted. So imagine, you know, if this country's uh, government agencies have been weaponized and politicized by a small number of corrupted officials, what would happen to each and every American citizen? So today is Mao School, tomorrow it might be you. So the CCP has a very clear uh, plan to take over and to take down America. And Mr. Mao's and this movement, the new federal state of China happens to be in their way.